YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to show you uh, how to replace a wind power window switch for the driver's side uh, 2008 Impala. I believe it's the same for the 2006 through 2013. Uh, basically my window switch works intermittently um, for the other windows. So I went out to uh, O'Reilly and I basically picked up the uh, Dorman um, version of the part and I will be replacing it. So basically all you gotta do is remove the two um, 10 millimeter screws that are in there. Uh, I've gone ahead and did that. Um, uh, I used my three quarter inch drive uh, uh, socket. Just basically remove them from there. Uh, once you got that, I believe you have a clip here, here, and here. Um, keep in mind that when you're taking it out, you wanna pull it to the left pull it to the rear because there's a lip over here that catches it um, so um, let me see if I can do this put this in uh, I won't be able to do it but uh, I'm going to take it off and I will get right back to you and I'll show you the clip location so that you can uh, go ahead and do that when you need to all right all right so I removed it um, here's one clip two clips and the other one's actually on the other side so you know right between the two switches is where you'll find the uh, the clips on the side that are basically holding the the frame in place and then the third one so you want to go ahead and put your screwdriver in here and push lift and pull back um, you'll have three plugs inside of the um, door all you need to do to remove them is press this on um, this one it's on the other side you'd press here and then on the power mirror switch you would need to press on that and and pull the uh, plug out of the harness so I'm going to go ahead and show you I'll probably be able to do these two um, one-handedly so you can see there's one I just need to push there's two and then this one I will have to uh, put the camera down um, and do it and then I'll get right back alright so the piece is off um, here's what you wind up with in your hand basically you will only need to remove the window switch um, what's holding it in place is this here here and here is a lip that's on the uh, window switch itself so you just put a screwdriver in between it and you know push it up a little bit to take it out of position um, and get it loose so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get right back okay so I've removed the switch um, I believe the parts that come in the car are made in Mexico uh, as you can see there um, I'll be replacing it here with the switch that I got from oh switch that I got from O'Reilly uh, cost me about 60 bucks um, you could have gone I could have gone for another one and cost about $80 uh, I thought I was saving some money the only difference that I have seen on it well a couple differences is one the finish on it it's a little bit different than the other um, this one has a, a little shine to it and the other difference that I know is going to happen is that the lights illuminate red instead of the greenish um, the greenish color that the Impala comes with. Uh, all in all, I think I should have spent the extra 30 bucks or $20 and got the, uh, the blue one. But, you know, got it already, so good to go. Um, I did go ahead and test fit it already. I found that the drivers um, switch got stuck when I would press it upward to roll the window up so what I went ahead and did was I got a little uh, I got some sandpaper and then uh, I used a, a razor blade um, basically all I used was this um, and I took it in here and I just shaved off just a, a bit and it wound up fitting um, not getting stuck anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the uh, part 
um, and reconnect it and put the door back together. All right, so I just was double checking again. Um, it didn't do it on the other the other times I did it, but as you can see, it gets stuck there. So I'm gonna wind up shaving. Um, I'll probably do all of them just to make sure that they work. So you can see this one also is stuck sometimes. Um, just stuck again. So I'll go ahead and uh, shave those. All right, so I was able to get this mounted here. So basically what I'm doing I'm going to wind up just doing it on all of them just to uh, make sure that there's no issues after I install it so you can see it's minimal what you're taking off So I've gone ahead and put it back in. So you can see no more sticking. All right, I'll go ahead and reinstall it and uh, show you the finished product. I wanted to show you, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lip that goes in that catches here. So um, I just wanted to show you putting it back in there push it in and then you can see these are the clips that hold it in so just be careful if they do fall out um, there's a groove that that these fit into um, this one actually broke on it. so you can see it's uh, broken there but it didn't uh, affect the ability to put the clip back in so once that's in, all you gotta do is push down and the clip actually just fell off. So I'll have to go back in, re, re, uh, remount it, and then I will put the two 10 inch bolts back in and it will be complete. All right, so uh, using my handy dandy craftsman toolkit or tools, uh, put this back in. I like uh, Craftsman. I, I always heard about the uh, warranty on them, but I never used it. I didn't know how it worked. Um, it was one day I had a one of this three-quarter inch driver. Um, I it had broke about five years ago, and uh, it basically wouldn't retain uh, whatever was going in there, the socket, the the extension, and uh, I went to Ace Hardware. And they swapped it out just like that. They gave me the latest and greatest. Um, so, you know, I like kind of like Craftsman. I'm sure other tools do it, but uh, or tool makers also do it. But Craftsman was a uh, good fit for me. All right, so we went ahead and put that in. Um, see, window works. Window works. Window works and window works. So, um, oh no, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's red now, uh, compared to, there's like a whitish tint, let's see if I can, no, it's actually gonna be in the back, you can see it. Oh, can't see them, but, um, this one's red, I'm sure you can see that, it's not the, traditional color that it is of that greenish color there all right youtube um let me know if this helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up